Hello everyone. So in today's video, we will be exploring the different type of cards that you will see in a pack of playing cards. So I hope you'll enjoy this video. And towards the end, we'll also solve a probability question based on playing cards. So let's start the video. So friends, a pack of playing cards is often referred to as a deck of playing cards. Okay, D-E-C-K. So you have a deck of playing cards and a standard deck of playing cards has how many cards? 52 cards. So there are 52 cards in a standard deck. Now a deck of cards also has some joker cards along with it. So in this pack, we have three joker cards, but these 52 cards exclude the joker cards friends so we are going to exclude these joker cards and only consider the standard deck of 52 cards now these 52 cards are equally divided into two color cards okay they are equally divided into two color cards they are the black color cards and you have the red color cards okay so these are the two divisions of the 52 playing cards they are equally divided that means 52 divided by 2 i'll have 26 black cards and 26 red cards now these 26 black cards are further divided into two groups or suits they are divided into two groups or suits s u i t s so one suit is called the spade suit friends so this is how the symbol of a spade suit looks something like this i'll show you how the spade card looks so friends this is how the spade card looks see this is the symbol of a spade suit so 26 divided by 2 that means there are going to be 13 spade cards there are going to be 13 cards in the spade suit it is s-u-i-t now the remaining 13 cards from the black cards are going to belong to the club suit which suit are they the club suit and the club suit looks something like this friends so you're going to have so it's a very approximate diagram i'll show you how the cards look so this is how the club cards look friends see this is the symbol of the club suit and again just like the spade suit there are going to be 13 cards in the club suit okay now similarly these 26 red color cards are equally divided into two groups or suits okay one is the heart suit what suit is it heart suit so as the name suggests the symbol is that of a heart and because it's a red color card it is going to have a red heart so i'll just show you how it looks so see friends these are the red heart suit cards see this is the symbol it's a red heart and since it's equally divided, it's 26 by 2. So there are going to be 13 cards from the heart suit. So the remaining 13 cards of the red color cards belong to the diamond suit, friends. Okay. This is the diamond suit. And these are also 13 in number. And as the name suggests, their symbol is going to be a diamond and because it's a red card it's going to be always red diamond so always remember friends spade and club will be always black in color heart and diamond will be always red in color so this is how a diamond card looks like see this is the symbol now friends let's see what are the different type of cards that you will see in the spade suit okay there are going to be 13 cards so we'll see in detail and whatever cards we discuss in the spade suit the same cards will be repeated friends in all the three suits okay so the 13 cards friends each of the 13 cards have a particular value or rank okay so what do we mean by a rank of a card it is the value that is given to the card so in the spade suit because we are talking about the spade suit the card which has the highest value or rank is the ace card which card is it ace card so this card is known as the ace of spade what is it known as ace of spade ace because it is an ace card and because it belongs to the spade suit it is the 
ace of spade card so this is the highest ranked card friends so let us write that down so i'm writing in the descending order of the value so the highest rank card is the ace card and there is always only one ace card in every suit so how many cards i'm going to have of the ace type i'm going to have only one ace card in spade suit and the same will be repeated in all the three suits so i have one ace card now just below the ace card i'm going to have the king card see this is the king of spades you can see here so i'm going to have the king card just below that i'll have the queen and then i'll have the jack so i'll show you the other cards also see this is the queen card and this is the jack card so these three cards come below the ace and friends as you can see these cards have faces on them see they have faces printed on them so they are known as the face cards what are they known as face cards or we also refer to them as picture cards or even court cards sometimes they are also referred to as court cards so in the spade suit i have how many king cards i have one king card one queen card and one jack card so i have totally three face cards so a suit has three face cards okay they come just below the ace now after the jack you have the number 10 card friends see this is the number 10 card this is 10 of spade then you have 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 so up till 2 you have the cards so let us write it down 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 and 2 friends and because these cards have numbers printed on them see did you see them they have numbers printed on them so they are known as can you guess yes they are known as the number cards sometimes you may also see them being referred as pip cards okay but this is not that often used the most common used word for them is number cards because they have numbers printed on them now how many number cards did you find here one two three four five six seven eight nine so there are nine number cards in a suit how many face cards three face cards so totally if you see 9 plus 3 12 12 plus 1 13 so i get my 13 cards in the spade suit okay friends so this is how the cards are distributed in a spade suit the same thing is going to be repeated for the club suit so here also i have an ace as the high, highest ranked card there is going to be one ace then i'll have the king the queen and the jack they will be the face cards so i will have three face cards and after that i'll have the number cards that's right so these are the nine number cards okay friends these are the nine number cards okay now friends in the heart suit also you have the same distribution of ace king queen jack the same distribution is there so let us write that also down So friends, as you saw here, this is the same distribution of cards in all the four suits. So there is going to be one ace, one king, one queen, one jack. These are the three face cards. Then you have the number cards from 10 to 2. So there are nine number cards, friends. So friends, let's solve a simple problem on probability using the playing cards. So first of all, this is the formula of our probability. Probability is nothing but the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. So you have a well shuffled pack of 52 cards. Okay, 
and we have to find the probability of getting a face card friends okay so what is the probability of getting a face card so how many face cards do we have friends we have let's let's look at this chart so we have three face cards in each suit see 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 that is 12 so totally there are 12 face cards okay so in the numerator where we have number of favorable outcomes we'll write 12 okay and total number of outcomes so when we have a well shuffled pack of 52 cards the total number of outcomes will be 50 2. So, the probability of getting a face card is 12 upon 52 and it will go in 4 tables. So, 4 threes are 12 and uh, yes and I will get 13 over here. So, the probability of getting a face card is 3 by 13 friends. So, friends this is how we approach the playing card uh, probability questions. So, friends I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If so, do consider subscribing to my channel, do like and share the video and in the comment section below please do leave your feedback and also let me know any topic on which you would like to have further videos made on. So, till then take care. Bye.